everyone, when log base 10 of 2 equals a and log base 10 of 3 equals b, we're going to express these two expressions with a and b. We have log base 10 of 6 and log base 10 of 5. Alright, so for the first one, we have log base 10 of 6. Now what I know is I know what log base uh, 10 of 2 is and log base 10 of 3. We're looking on this left hand side of our log rules. So what I can do is write this as log base 10 and given that I have a 2 and a 3 here, write this as 2 times 3. And then I'm going to expand my log base 10 uh, using my product rule and write it as a sum of logs. So this is going to be log base 10 of 2 plus, this is like your x times y, log base 10 of 3. Now using substitution, we're going to get uh, log base 10 of 2 is a, and log base 10 of 3 is b. So that's our expression with a and b. Alright, the next one, we have log base 10 of 5. Now, a uh, typical mistake is to write log base 10 of 2 plus 3. You can't do that. It either has to be this product or this division thing, um, and these really don't apply here. So that's the wrong way to think about it. Um, what we can do and what they never tell you when they give you a problem here, uh, when you have a base 10, you have to look at this. Uh, and they're not going to say, well, log base 10 of 10 is 1. That's uh, uh, going to be an assumption that log base 10 of 10 equals 1. So what I can do, and I'm going to erase this, uh, is write this as log base 10, and I'm going to put 10 divided by 2, because 10 divided by 2 gives me my 5. And then I'm going to expand it and write my logs as a difference of logs. Because we have this form and we're going to expand it with a difference. So that's going to be log base 10 of 10 minus log base 10 of 2. So log base 10 of 10, like I said, is just 1 minus and log base 10 of 2 is just going to be A. And that's it. So we're going to write it like that. And we're done. 1 minus A. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.